Slingers, it's Frank Spear, that guitar guy, back with you. And today we're going to talk about creating licks. All those licks you just heard are basically notes played instead of chords, right? Those licks are developed instead of using a chord in the progression. They develop licks, riffs around that chord instead. Let's make some of our own licks today. Now we are literally doing this on the fly. I have not prepared any licks beforehand. We're just going to come up with them right here, right now. So let's take the key of G major, and we've got these notes. It doesn't matter where we get them. And let's try to develop a lick. Let's just pick a groove. Let's pick a tempo. Try something else. Let's go back to that low G to end it. Let's go to the D. I like the D better. I think we got the lick. Ready? We're taking these notes right out of the G major scale. And we're using open strings. G chord. We're just using that G and the B, right? The root and the third. And then we're sliding up, we're using these part of the G major scale. Let's try another one. We could just be going. But. Let's 
try something darker and more sinister, we'll get a flat five in there. So we've got the root and the five. But let's take this five and drop it down a half step. Lower it. So now you've got. Go back to the fifth. Right? Very simple, but haunting, right? Now we can move that around to create a tune, right? So how about... a different tempo and a different key. Let's try the key of B. Maybe we want to do something that sounds a little bit 80s new wave-ish. That's pretty cool. All we did there again is playing right out of the B major scale. Right, we played these notes. We just used this B note as a drone. We played everything against it. You slap a bunch of delay on there and you've got yourself an 80s anthem. So even changing the tempo can inspire you. Let's do another one in the key of F. Let's make this an F minor chord. So we got that flat third. Instead of... We've got... And then we'll go flat six. Instead of... So we've got... Try it more staccato, like a Devo thing. It's endless, the combinations, right? You have somebody sing over the top of that. You've got a tune, right? You took six six notes. All right, that tune's mine. Don't take it. Now remember, we're playing these licks in lieu of chords. These riffs we're coming up with. Instead of just playing that F minor chord, we've got... Much more interesting, right? Now maybe when the vocal line comes in, you vamp on that F minor chord. Or maybe you keep playing the lick, and the singer is singing over that lick. Let's try one in the key of C with a different tempo. That's very U2, right? Just using the C chord. 
in the octave up here with the fifth. Right? Now, if you took notes directly from this chord that we're playing. We're playing off that C chord, and we're using a few other notes here off the C major chord to get the suspended chord. We're still in the key of C major, right? We're playing a C major chord. We're grabbing an F, so it's the four. We're grabbing a D, so it's the nine or the two. Right? We're grabbing an A, so it's the sixth. We grab this note up here, this A, and get the six up here. As well as here. If you took those notes and created a vocal line, you've got yourself a hit tune based around the notes we were using in that chord because I just steal them right out of the chords. I like that better. That's how YouTube does it, man. No problem. No biggie. All right, let's change the tempo and do one in the key of D. Remember, we're sticking with the major scale here today. I added a flat seven there instead of the seventh. Well, there was a pretty cool rock lick. All right, let's do one final lick together. Let's do a diminished lick. We'll do it in the key of E. And diminished is, it has a flat five note in it and the sixth. That's the diminished chord we're going to use. So if we're in the key of E, instead of the B, which is the fifth, we're going to do the flat five. Right? So we get that sound. And then we're going to add the sixth in. One, two, three, four, five, six. A C sharp. So we're going to end up with this. cool sound. Let's develop a lick around that. Let's just mess around with the notes of the chord. Let's use the bar to come up to the D, to the E. Halloween. 
All right, let's take a look at those opening licks I played, the famous ones that we all know and love. We'll take them in random order. The Ozzy tune, Crazy Train. <laughs> That's played in lieu of, this is in the key of E, that's played in lieu of an F sharp minor. Which would be the two chord in the key of E. A two minor. So Randy, instead of playing... Those are all chords right out of an F minor six chord. So, using that F sharp as a pedal tone, just playing all the other notes against it. Keeps coming back to it. Plays the fifth. Plays the sixth. Back to the fifth. Then. Plays the fourth, then the third again, the minor third, B, A, little jaws there, so he plays the B, which is the fourth, the open A, which is the minor third, then he plays the two, G sharp, or the nine. If you don't understand the difference between the two and the nine, check out my chords videos, my mastering guitar chords. And then he plays the third again, the minor third. Then he comes off to that E. Right, which is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the seventh. So it's all out of this chord. Okay, how about the Spirit of Radio Lick by Rush? Song is in the key of E, and Alex Lifeson opens it with an E lick. <laughs> Okay, he's got a lot of this open E ringing out, and he's playing notes in the key of E against that open E note, that open E string. Starts there with the F sharp, right, in the key of E, that's the two. So he pulls off to the open E, then he hits the D, which is the dominant seven, the flat seven in the key of E. And back to the E again. G sharp, which is the third in the key of E. Open E again and back to the D. Keep coming back to that D. Then he hits the A, which is the fourth in the key of E. So it's all out of the E major scale, right? All right, how about Jenny? Jenny, Jenny, I got your number, 8675309. That's simply A to B. So he's playing an A chord here, this form of the A chord, leaving this note out and playing the open E, right? In the key of A, in the A major chord, E is the fifth. So he's letting that ring out. He's got two E's, E here, open E string, and then he's playing here on this C sharp, which is the third of A. Then he grabs the D. Which is the fourth of A. So it's a suspended chord. 
If you don't know why it's suspended, check out my chords videos, my Mastering Your Chords videos. I explain all about the suspended chords, the suspended two and the suspended four. So he's playing an A and then an A suspended four. <laughs> really just an A chord and playing around with a different A chord. So that's a B chord right there. He's taking the form of it here, playing the B, then he's playing the E flat, right, which in the key of B here is the third. So it's root, third, and then an open E. So he's got the E flat against the E, creating that cool dissonance, right? Because that's the four in B. So he's playing. He's forming a chord from those three notes. So they're just playing with standard chords and getting different flavors out of them by adding or subtracting notes. So Jenny, I got your number, a simple A to B. The Randy Rhodes tune, the Ozzy tune, simple F sharp minor chord, the Alex Lifeson tune, right? Key of E, playing over at what would be an E chord. Instead, he decides to play this lick. How about the beat it lick? <laughs> Okay, so this is in the key of E minor or G. They're basically the same. If you look at the notes of the G major scale, they're the same notes as E minor it, scale. So let's look at it as E minor in that key. So no surprise that the first note is an E. Right? Then it's G. G to B. Well, in the key, in, let's look at it from an E minor chord here, or the scale of E minor, right? G is the third. Here's your G. Where's the B? It's the fifth. And he grabs another, he grabs the G. So it's E, G, B, G. Another E, big surprise. So we're just doubling up on notes here. Here we get a different note, we get the F sharp. The F sharp to the D. Where's F sharp? Where do we find it in the key of E minor? Well, it's the two. It's the second note in the scale. Where's D? The seventh. It's the flatted seventh, the dominant seventh. And it has like an E minor seven chord. So let's think of this lick as a substitute for an E minor seventh chord. There you have it. How about Layla? Okay, this song is in the key of D minor or F. Those are relative minors. We'll do a lesson on that soon. It doesn't really matter for this lesson. It's a substitute for a D minor chord. And he's playing right out of the D minor pentatonic scale. No surprise because Eric's a blues player, right? So he takes the top four notes. Now, I don't have to name the notes here, right? You know the scale. So he plays with that scale and gets that famous lick out of it. 
and we don't. <laughs> He bends up here a whole step. Now there's the only different note really here. He throws in that E out of the D minor scale. Right, so he throws in the nine for that flavor. Beautiful. Then he almost repeats the same lick, but he has a minor change in it here. He takes that G and bends it up to the A, right, which is the fifth of D. So... Those notes... So it all comes out of that minor pentatonic scale and that extension. Okay, how about Walk This Way? One of the most famous guitar licks ever recorded. He's playing a little lick off the C7 there, off the chord, while the vocal line is going on. But he opens the song with a lick in E which if the key is in C, if the song is in the key of C, E is the third. E minor. But if we're thinking about this as a substitute for the E chord, the lick is a substitute for an E chord, or an E minor chord, then we're thinking of that B flat and B in relation to that E minor chord. Okay, so we get B is easy, that's the fifth. And the flat five would be the B flat. So he's jumping from the flat five to the five. A common bluesy move, right? So to the E. So think about it, he's going A, B flat, B, chromatically right up. Except he's phrasing it, hitting the low E. So you got the octave from the high E to the low E. Then he goes. What's happening there? He's taking the G, which in E minor is the third. And he's playing from the G to the E. And then hitting an E. that A chord leading to the C7. So it's the 6 of C leading home to the 1. So that lick is a substitute for an E minor chord. Okay, how about Sweet Child of Mine? Something like that, right? It's in the key of D. This is right out of a D chord. A D major chord. It's this movable bark at the moon chord. It's this movable chord. Okay, so we've got D as the root note. We've got the fifth. And then we got another D. So it's really just a D power chord, which means the root in the five. Okay? It's playing right out of a D chord. Then he grabs the G, which is the four of D. So it's like a suspended little 
flavor there. <laughs> got the G to the A and you got the F sharp to the A G in the key of D is the four F sharp is the third so it's just a simple D chord all right, life in the fast lane. We're in the key of A in this song, but this is played in lieu of a D chord, which in the key of A is the four chord. Playing the one, the two, the five, and the four. Right, playing off the two and the one, then playing off the five again lower, and the four. So, are the same notes as it's got the open E, which is the two. So they're just again the notes repeated. And he bends that G a little. Right? Then he plays a little E lick, a little rhythmic thing there. And then it's uh so he walks up chromatically A, B flat, B to the open E now he's going to a substitute for an E chord so what's happening there? here's E Here's the E again. He's just sliding up to that. He's pulling off from the G. It's, a, it's like an E minor. G is the minor third of E. It's a bluesy thing. Out of the E minor pentatonic. Classic little lick. Pulling off from the E to the open D. All right, String Slingers, hope you enjoyed this video again on creating your own riffs, your own licks based on chords. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.